Jerry at Fair Oaks. Hey, Lee, I'm getting winded. How much longer do we have to march? Quiet, Jerry. No talking in ranks. We'll be through in just a minute. Nate! Hook! Cadet Dugan, report to me when the company is dismissed. Clark, Evans, and Lockhart, report to the stable and get your instructions from Sergeant Alden. Company dismissed. You want to see me, Major Metcalf? Yes, Dugan. Come on over here where we can sit down. Yes, sir. Tired? No, sir. Just a little out of breath. <laughs> Say, you did all right for your first time in formation. I expected to see you bringing up the rear. You've never done any drill work before, have you? No, sir. Come on, let's sit down. <sighs> there we are. You kind of got mixed up on that right by squads, didn't you? <laughs> yes, that one sort of surprised me. I didn't get a chance to see what we were going to do. I noticed you watching the men next to you. But you want to hurry up and learn as much as you can so you won't have to watch. You've got to keep your eyes straight ahead for forward drilling. You might get your roommate to help you a little. Yes, sir. You're going to make a good cadet, Dugan. Just get up on your toes and keep your eyes and ears open. It's very much worthwhile trying to do your best here at Fair Oaks. You know, there's no limit to how high you can go. Why, I started the same as you did a couple of years ago. All of the officers did. We were all plebes once. Yes, sir, I know that. You can drop the sir now. Your first name is Jerry, isn't it? That's right. <laughs> Mine's Ted. Glad to know you, Jerry. I'm glad to know you, sir. Uh, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Informally, we'll address each other by our first names. But at any other time, you'll address me as your superior officer. Okay. <laughs> Jerry, how about an ice cream soda? Soda? Where? <laughs> Haven't you been over to Max's place yet? Come on. Oh, you mean the ice cream parlor just outside the archway? Yeah, that's the place. William McLeod's ice cream parlor, and I might add, variety store. <laughs> Lee pointed the place out to me yesterday on our way from the station. Old Mac won't like it, but uh, if you don't get it right over there and meet him. Uh, well, I don't even know him. <laughs> oh, oh, no. What I mean is this, Jerry. You see, Mac is almost another tradition around here. Every boy knows him, and he knows every boy. He always expects a new student at Fair Oaks to get over to his place as soon as possible. Why, to hear him tell it... You'd think his place was just as important as any of the buildings on the campus. <laughs> Has he had his store long? Oh, for about 15 years, I think. And do you know, why, well, he's been at every graduation exercise since then. I <laughs> sure must like all the fellas. Oh, he feels like each cadet is his own son. Oh, but don't take him too lightly, Jerry. He's given out some sound advice, and he proved to be a friend more than once. Oh, there's your roommate, Lee. Hey, fellas. Hey, where are you going? Oh, nowhere in particular. Come on along with us, then. We're going over to Mac. Okay, I will, if you don't mind. Well, glad to have you. I haven't seen old Mac for several days. He'll wonder what happened to me. <laughs> Mac's like that, Jerry. If you don't show up for a couple of days, well, he begins to wonder what's happened to you. You've never in your life met anyone quite like him. I'll just bet I'm going to like him real well. Well, I've never seen anyone that didn't, have you? No, I haven't either, Phillips. Every boy that ever attended Fair Oaks has had a good word for him. Say, how did Jerry make out a drill today? Okay, fine. Well, I was just telling him he did all right for the first time. Mm -hmm, I thought he did, too. Hey, Jerry, you didn't tell me what sports you're going out for. Have you any specially? Well, no, I don't think I have. I never played many games. 
Well, you're pretty small for football. Well, basketball, too. Hey, can you swim? Yeah, I can swim fairly well. well you might try out for one of the swimming teams, then. Well, uh, Jerry can ride a horse. He rode when he was with the circus. Well, then that's it. Try out for polo. Well, I don't know if I'm that good. Listen, if you're good enough to ride in a circus, you should be good enough to make one of the polo teams. <laughs> hey, how many do they have? Oh, several, Jerry. They're called squads. You work up from one to the other as you learn to play the game better. Finally, you make one of the top teams. Oh, that's the way you do it. Well, I might try out sometime. That's another reason why you want to avoid demerits. No cadet with over ten demerits can be on any of the teams. What about... Well, suppose I'm on the team and then get the demerits. Well, that's bad, too. Then you lose your place on the team, and that gives another man a chance to work up. Well, goodbye. What do you mean? Now, come on, Jerry. Here's the arch. See, we take the middle one, and Ted takes the sidewalk on the side. I told you about that. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You'll be using the small arches soon, won't you, Lee? Mm, yes, next semester. Oh, but Jerry will have to wait a whole year. <laughs> well, looks like we're the only ones paying Mac a visit right now. <laughs> Take a look at that window, Jerry. <laughs> Did you ever see so much stuff in your life? <laughs> <laughs> Why, there's everything in that window you could think of. <laughs> Kites, toy airplanes, candy, baseballs, gloves, baseball bats, <laughs> shoe polish, razor blades, <laughs> and magazines. Hey, don't and... try to name everything, <laughs> Jerry. We'll be here all day if you do. Come on, let's go inside. Uh, there's more on the inside, folks. Step right in and don't crowd. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Jerry. Okay. Oh, Mac. Be right with you, bud. Hey, where is he? Oh, he's probably out and back. He lives in back of the store, Jerry. Does his own cooking and everything. Oh. Uh, well, 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 greetings, lads. Uh, sit up at the soda fountain there where I can take a good look at you. Come on, climb up, Jerry. How are you, Mac? Oh, fine. I couldn't be better. And how are you? Oh, okay. Hey, Mac. I want you to meet Jerry Dugan, a new cadet at Fair Oaks. Jerry, this is Mr. McLeod. Uh, never mind the Mr. McLeod. Uh, put you there, Jerry, and uh, I'm Mac to you from now on and henceforth. Oh, I'm awful glad to know you, Mac. Well, and I'm glad to know you, Jerry. Welcome to Fair Oaks, and welcome to my establishment. Uh, you're never a stranger once you come through that doorway. Hey, how about a dish of ice cream, Mac? Uh, a dish of ice cream, and what's yours, Ted? Oh, give me a bottle of that grape punch. Uh, and uh, yours, Jerry? I'll take a soda. Uh, chocolate? Ah, uh, please. Uh, all right. Uh, when did you arrive, Jerry? Yesterday. Uh, yesterday? And you just knew getting over to see me? Uh, listen here, lad, I, I feel hurt about that. Oh, I haven't seen all the campus yet, either. That is, I haven't been down to the lake or over to see the horses. Oh, well, that makes me feel better. Uh, at least I came before the horses. Great <laughs> 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 hey, Scott, I can't complain, no, huh? <laughs> Uh, who are you rooming with, Jerry? With Lee. Oh, well, you've got a very good roommate. <laughs> Lee Phillips is a very fine lad. Uh, uh, yes, sir, a very fine lad. Of, of course, I shouldn't have been saying that in front of him, huh, Lee? <laughs> <laughs> You'd say the same thing if you had anyone else for a roommate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's your ice cream and here's your grape drink, Ted. And a chocolate ice cream soda for you, Jerry. Now, I'll, I'll tell you about that soda. I know, it's an extra good one. Oh, I'll have you know, lad, that all my sodas are extra good. And that's now what I was going to tell you. I want to explain that that soda there is on the house. It's free. Do you understand that, Jerry? Free. Uh, you get one free when you first arrive at Fair Oaks, and you get one free when you graduate. Uh, but mind you know, you'll get no free ones in the meantime. No, sorry. And it's strictly a cash business at Mac's place. I've yep. never seen you let a man go dry. Hold your tongue, lad. Hold your tongue. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to break Jerry in right. <laughs> mm, boy, this is a good soda. Oh, well, Mac makes the first one that way, so you'll come back for more. Oh, <laughs> oh don't you believe that, Jerry. It's the same ingredients and the same recipes used in every soda. Sure, I know, Mac. He's only kidding. Mm -hmm. Hey, you fellas going to stick around a while? Oh, here you are, Mac. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, huh, Jerry? Yeah. I guess so. Well, I've got to get back for the officers' meeting. I'll see you later. Bye, Jerry. So long, kid. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye. Hurry back, lad. Hurry back. <sighs> well, where are you from, Jerry? Tell me a wee bit about yourself. Well, Jerry was with the uh, Randall Brothers Circus. Oh, a boy of the circus. Uh, well, mm. that's fine. Uh, were you a regular actor, a performer? Did you do something? Uh-huh. I did my own act. You did an act with an elephant. Oh, gosh, lad. An act with an elephant. Mm -hmm. He did all sorts of tricks with him. Well, a regular wild animal trainer. Oh, that's wonderful, Jerry. Hmm? Uh, wonderful. And he rode a horse in the circus, too. Ah, uh, hush, lad. Tell me no more of his accomplishments, or I'll have to be treating him to another soda. <laughs> 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 Well, you're going to like it here at Fair Oaks, Jerry, my lad. I know I will. I like it already. Uh, you, you might be a wee bit lonesome for a few days, but that'll wear off, and uh, you'll be glad where you, you're here where you are. Oh, I'm not lonesome, but I sure miss my dog. Oh, uh, you see, this is the first time we've ever been separated. Oh, uh, yeah, I know how that is. When a boy loves his dog, he longs for him. Uh, but remember, Jerry, into each life, 
Uh, some rain must fall. Yeah, I know. Yes, yes, uh, some great person said that. I don't know, recall who it was, but uh, do you ken what Mark adds to it? Uh-uh, what? I always say there's no use complaining unless it's a downpour or a cloud box. <laughs> 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 yes, sir, that's what I say. Well, let's have uh, to do that, Mac. Yeah, you, you, you just bet there is. <laughs> yeah. uh, hey, that was a swell soda, Mac. Thanks. Uh, you're, you're welcome, Jerry. Very welcome. Now, mind you, I'm not wanting you to buy anything, but uh, if there's anything you need, I've got it right here. This is a regular department store. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> yeah, of course it is, lad. Uh, of course it is. Now, take these words seriously, Jerry. If there's anything you really need, it's not wise to go without it. But uh, never spend your money just to be spending it. You can, most anyone can make a little money, but uh, it takes a smart one to save some of it. Yeah. That's good advice, all right. Yeah, I, I, that's a thrift lesson, Jerry. I should have a class of my own at the school teaching thrift to the boys, but uh, I always forget to talk to Major Davis about it. There's <laughs> <laughs> your evening bulletin. Oh, there's your bundle of evening papers, <laughs> Mac. Uh, uh, pick them up for me, will you, lad? And uh, put them in that rack there. It'll save me walking around the counter. Okay, Matt. Hey, do you sell all those papers every night? Why, lost lad, that's not many. I've got a great lot of good customers. There you are, Mac. All set. Uh, thank you, lad. Well, you uh, have not told me, Jerry, what athletics you're going out for. Every boy at Fair Oaks has to make his letter, you can. Well, I was just talking with Lee and Ted about that. Mm. They think I should try out for polo. Ah, polo. That's a great idea, lad. If you rode a horse in a circus, I didn't see why you shouldn't have been riding one in, at school here. I'll bet he'd be good at it, don't you, Mac? Why, yes, I, I didn't see how you can fail, Jerry. Eh, there's a good many lads that never rode before and have turned out to be good polo players. Yes, sorry, I, I've seen lots of them in the years gone by. Lots of them. Uh, if you'll look up uh, here over the fountain, yeah, right up here, you'll see pictures of all the graduating classes. I take great pride in those, Jerry, great pride. And uh, on those pictures, I can point out many a lad that was a star at polo playing and didn't have the start that you had. Fair Oaks is famous for its polo teams. Very eh? famous for its polo teams. Uh, sorry, really famous. I, I like to see you make the great lad and, and have your picture up there on the wall to point to. I think I'll try out for it. Ah, that's the way. That, that's the way. Give it a fling, Jerry. And uh, when you make the first team and get into a big game... Old Mac will be right there rooting for you. Yeah, uh, rooting for you. Ross lad, uh, I'll yell me lungs out for you. <laughs> Jerry, what? Oh, oh, That's oh, recall. Oh. We should be back on the campus right now. Hey, I, I guess we were talking so much we forgot to boot the time. Mm, here, here's, here's for my ice cream, Mac. Oh, uh, all right, Come on, lad. Jerry, let's run for it and hope we're not caught. Because, boy, if we are, it means five demerits apiece. Five demerits? Wow, come on. Goodbye, Mac. Goodbye, lads. Goodbye, goodbye. Good luck, lads. I hope you make it. <laughs> 